Hey tubers, so I haven't got much in the way of um, updates for you, but what I've done is I've taken out this um, Comport board out of here, um, so I can plug in the older cable, which supports different software other than the, um, the watch power, so I can monitor it better and turn it on and off automatically and stuff. So I'm going to try that and see if that works. Okay, so there we are tubers, it wasn't the most difficult thing in the world. I've turned all the power off so I'm not working with anything live and it's only 12 volt here or 5 volt or something anyway so it's all good. I've turned all that off so I'm not going to electrocute myself. So that's the, well it's the old board back in again. So instead of the USB port there now I've got the COM port and let's hope like hell this is not going to blow it up and it works as planned. Let's try. Okay let's connect the power back up. Geez, I love that. I've also centered that a little bit more because it was a bit close to that one. Okay, so we've got no power yet. We've got no smoke, we've got battery. I've got the computer and stuff isolated there, so that's not turned on. So plug that out. Let's see. Well, that booted up as normal. Voltage come up all right. No magic white smoke yet. Okay, let's plug this in. I don't know which one I'm supposed to do first. I'll turn them both on. Move that out of the way. Turn the computer on. Well, any climactic is good. Because guess what? <laughs> the screen just went out on prompt. Ah, oh, I love it. Come on screen, come back. There we go. It works. So now I can use MPP Solar Patrol or I can go back to using which I would prefer. What's the other one that I like? I don't know where it's gone. But I can go back to the other one that I was given and run that now that I have that port. Oh, this is going to make the setup even better again. Hey Tubers, well that went better than expected. I've uh, got to give a shout out to, what is it, Vic Hybrid on YouTube. He gave me the idea of changing those boards out. And they're a direct swap, one screw to undo it, two cables, done. Really, really quick, couldn't believe how well it worked. Well, can't believe it didn't catch on fire, if I should be honest. Um, other updates, there's not too much to show you unfortunately i've been working again um this windows 10 thing's been great for business and bad for my social life but update go down like this where i am on screen and i'm building my fifth no my fourth pack oh one to add a shot two three four five six and then About 15 more cells in that one. And we have a 20 kilowatt hour power wall. Um, it's still running great. It's still running perfectly. And now this software's on there, I can automatically t change it from grid to um, solar and or grid to battery and battery back to grid again. I don't have to manually log into it every day and turn it on and off. That's not so much of a worry because I log into it 50 times a day anyway to check what it's doing. Uh, also check the battery balance of all the batteries again this morning and I'm not going to say exactly what they are because they're very because uh, it was under heavy heavy charge but all the batteries are so close still they're not even there's I would have expected one to be really high or one to be really low by now but after about 20 30 cycles like full nightly uses um it's going really well we've taken about 4500 amp hours from the battery pack since i got the new battery monitoring utility and the old one i think it was about a thousand so maybe over 5000 um kil uh, 5000 amp hours out of the battery pack so really really happy with the way that's going um there's not much more to say that just it just works one more thing forgot james i put a shout out on facebook the other day and um 
I was out of blue cells. I had I needed like 60 blue cells to finish this pack. And James popped up and said, I've got some. And it was a back alley, um, bit of a back alley deal. But he hooked me up. He gave me 150 blue cells, uh, which moving forward means I can actually start on my fifth pack in two days time once I finish these cells. So that, I, dude, appreciative thank you so much man that is just awesome i am forever grateful um also got one more uh contributor to the channel i uh, don't know what if he wants to be mentioned or not so i won't mention his name for now but remembering if you're a contributor to the channel um you're more than welcome to i try i think i've emailed everyone my personal email address and you're more than welcome to ask me custom to do custom emails or whatever else. I've got nothing much else to offer, um, but I feel I definitely owe you guys something because I really appreciate um, the, the 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 financial support. Not that there's any millions of dollars involved, but it's ten or five dollars here and there. And I'll tell you what, it makes a difference. Um, the last lot I got ugh, a bunch more holders so that and I got a bunch more solder and a few other things it should be said that these ones are the five befores five befores one two three five befores um, they're a little bit cheaper than the ones I was getting there are shit ton faster and they fit my mounts so my electrician my electrician showed me this he's got a heap of them himself so thank you guys you're all awesome I'm going to finish editing that video there because I keep forgetting to say things. And I'm going to catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Thank you.